Hello, welcome back everyone to Let's Play Fallout 3. Last time, this poor sod gave us a key. So let's go see what that key is for. I have to pick up all these mines so that we do not blow our legs off. Ah, he's got a nice little stash of them up here. And I think I might have blown up a grenade and scattered them everywhere, but oh well. Ten mils. Hi there. You gonna come down and say hello? No? How about I send you a present instead? Bang. There we go. Ah, oh, yep, there's one more there. You gonna come out? She's taking cover. Now she's advancing. Yep. How about you die? Come on. Uh, hate this trigger. The trigger on this gun is utterly terrible. Let's go see what they had up here. I am really hurt. Ooh, darts. Always useful. Alright. Let's just take a nap. Heal up. Nice little hole. Not nothing else in here. Blockers. Nothing in them. One stim pack. Two stim packs. I'll take that crutch. It'll become useful later on. Alright. Continuing on. More mines. Good money. Whoa! Nearly got blown up. And there are more mole rats. There's my stick. Oh, mole ratties! Whoa! Jesus! <laughs> Bit of a glitch there. Alright, where is you? Huh? Bang! There we go. And that's not all of them that I need to test this thing on. Well, there's more out there. Oi! Jeez! Hi! Finally! Whoa! Jeez! Yeah, I'll take that. Thank you. And you jackasses killed all the mole rats up here. Wonderful. No? No, you didn't. Sweet. Pound stick. Hello. There you are. Whoa. Come on. I am keeping this. All right. That goes someplace where I do not want to be right now. So let's head back to, well first let's see if we can get in here. Yeah, use the key. Ooh, nice. 
Alright, there was some pretty good stuff in there. So, let's head back to Megaton. Whoa! Hi there! Huh. Where did you come from? Oh, you were the one that was stuck inside the wall there. Anyway, here we are. I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. How yeah. is the field research Shoot. going? Oh, I can't wait to hear how the repellent's working. I tested the Mara repellent extensively. Oh, excellent! Substantial field testing, precise reports, and such dedication. Oh, what more could I ask for in a research assistant? So, how did my chemical repellent work? Safe and clean like a charm, I'll bet. Um, it appears that Morats have a most fatal allergy to it. Explosively so. Those poor little mole raddies. Oh, I wonder if I could make a hypoallergenic version. Oh, but that'd hardly be effective. I should mention that. Proper handling of mole rats could be important if they could be domesticated. Milked, maybe? Oh, anyway, keep the repellent. Oh, but for your trouble, um, here, have the leftover chems from working on the repellent. I'm sure you can find some use for them. And I'll sell those right back to her. And this completes the second chapter, correct? Correct as always. And your feedbacks really led to a very smartly written book. Maybe too smart for some folks, I worry. Of course, if the reader can't be bothered to understand something important as a book on how to stay alive, then what can we do, huh? And in case those readers blame you for their ignorance, here's your payment. Two big boxes of ammo. Now, on to the next chapter. 556. Five, Sweet. Let's start the last chapter. The last chapter is a bit more esoteric. It's about the survival of humanity as a whole, and how to rebuild society. Deep stuff, huh? We need to know how large settlements are formed, how to harness the old technology, and I'll need you to get ancient history from a nearby library. We're in the last stretch now, so let's finish it up strong. What's first? Uh, using old technology sounds interesting. It does, doesn't it? I mostly just deal with it after it's junked. But a trader gave me this Robco processor widget. He said it's worth a fortune. According to him, if it's connected to the mainframe in the Robco factory, you could have access to all the robots you'd ever want. Now that would be a great example of how to harness technology, wouldn't it? So just go in and connect the widget to the mainframe? I can do that. Yeah, you should just be able to plug it into the mainframe at the Robco production facility. It'll give you access to the robots and terminals. Okay, here. And be sure to keep an eye peeled for any other examples of how to make old technology work for you out there. Uh, let me see what you got for sale. Sure thing. Good luck with that research. For once, she actually hey, had going on? some shotgun shells. Now, let's see. Let's double check where we're going for starters. Thought so, right down there near Tenpenny Tower. Now, before we head out that way, let's stop by that farmhouse from the last episode and see about opening that intact safe. Because I've got the skills for it now. Show me what is in this safe. Almost got it. There we are. Guns and bullets, the money, stealth boy, and a unique 44 Magnum little Macintosh. Now, let's see about that note. Cousin Braber. I know we ain't talked in some time, 
and the war effort's taking a twist for the scary, and I may not have a chance to see you again. I want to mend fences. Now, I ain't gonna mark this up with words. We all know how well that went last time. Instead, I'm sending you a little Macintosh as a gift, and as an apology, to show you I'm sincere. Keep him safe for me, keep him safe for me, will ya? AJ. Yes, this is a mod. This is a rather awesome mod in my opinion. Because if we just drop this on the ground a bit. This gun is from a Fallout MLP crossover fan fiction called Fallout Equestria, funny that, and it is, in my opinion, the best piece of literature ever written. Now you can check it out if you want, it's on Google Docs and in audiobook form here on YouTube, I'll have links to that down in the description, as well as the mod link. But this gun is going to be my new sidearm. Because it's more powerful than the base 44. Whoa! And look at that, we got ourselves a target for us. Oh, come on! Really? Okay, so while I walk back to get little Macintosh again, and first repair my armor. Alright then, take two. And I'll also heal a bit before tangling with that Mr. Gutsy again. I've never been killed so quickly by anything. But I suppose a plasma shot to the chest will do that. Now, there's not quite enough time left in this episode to do the Robco thing, so let's see what's going on down in this town here. Whoa! the hell was that? I think that was the Mr. Gutsy. <laughs> Hello, rubber band glitch. How I have missed you. Alrighty then. Now, I think there might be some raiders down towards the diner there. Let's see about this radio tower. Signal Oscar Tango. Uh, there we are. I'm really glad they actually named them phonetically instead of just the letters. Now, where is this manhole? In case y'all didn't know, these radio towers, when you turn them on and tune to the signal, if you just follow it around and try to find the direction where the static gets less it'll lead you to a drain or a manhole or something which usually leads to a stash alright turn that off book, science, darts Ooh, purified water. Awesome. More junk. Now, you gotta be kinda careful because sometimes 
these places can be trapped or guarded. Huh, that was nice, it stood that up. Ew. I heard a knife. Yep, they're coming. Okay, close quarters, give me the shotgun. Yep, there's the door. Down they come. I probably should have laid some mines, but whatever. Alright, you guys are not gonna move. Come on, boys! Fresh meat! Come on! It's Bang! Yeah, I got a shotgun and you're gonna try and slash at me with a knife. Good plan. Grenade. Yeah, so as I said, they can be guarded. Whoa. But there is almost always rather good loot. So, yeah, if you see one of those radio towers, turn them on and give it a shot. Yeah, I know that place. Is, that place is full of raiders. So let's give little Macintosh a uh, bit of a whirl, shall we? And not go melting from a plasma blast. Jury Street Metro Station. Alright, let's see if we can sneak on in here. Yep. Alright, so you've got an assault rifle. Time for you to bleed. Where are you? There you are. Bang! Two shots. Boom. He's out there serving as our protector, so show the kids some respect. Where are you? There's one more in here. <laughs> oh man, I'm glad she didn't get in on the fray. Alright. Missile launcher. That'll sell for a good amount. Ugh, that has an eyeball. Let's go see what's on the roof. Oh, traitor. Woo! Whoa! Whoa, who's shooting? Bloody talent company. Ow! Alright, alright, alright. Settle down. Yeah, shoot in the gut. Bang! Get out of my face. Right now that we've got some distance on these guys. Ooh yeah. And his gun ends up all the way over here. Gimme. That's two of them. Did the other one? Did the other one somehow blow himself up? All right. Nope. Just saw him on the radar right there. He's still alive. Show yourself, you ugly bitch. In the face. In the neck. You guys are really starting to piss me off. But at least I'm getting a lot of armor. Plenty of stuff to repair my stuff. So. 
Well, I think that's a pretty good place to leave it. And there's one more building over that way that we'll check out in the next episode. Then it's south to Robco. So, thank you all for joining me for this episode of Let's Play Fallout 3. Until next time, see you later.